How's it going guys? Welcome back to One Shot. We just rescued Alula down in this uh, dungeon area here. Graham? Are you still there? I'm here. Always checking up on me. Not willing to be alone for, you know, whatever it ends up being like a week at a time. <laughs> just standing there patiently waiting. It happened again. Oh, and it's not because I don't have the light bulb anymore either. It feels like a different kind of dark. Dark of crippling, unending loneliness. I know how that goes. Now that we have a Lula, we should probably go back and retrieve the light bulb, shouldn't we? It's interesting how noticeably darker everything is around here when I don't have the light bulb in hand. I'm just kind of zigzagging around, just investigating things. But like, it is definitely darker. It's not like the light bulb is just illuminating directly in front of me here, it's illuminating the entire area. And I guess I could just be, it, you know, reflecting off of walls and things like that, but it gives the impression that the light bulb really does a whole lot more to brighten the areas that it's in, you know? Nope, that was the way out. It turns out I don't actually remember where I was trying to go. I kind of put everything aside for the, the one-off week where I just played a bunch of games for one one episode installments rather than doing a series like one shot here so it went on hold for a little bit and I have to remember everything that was going on in that time. It's the sun. We're leaving it with her for now. Ah. Lula is okay with this. You still good with the sun? I'm not afraid anymore. Thank you. Lula, you okay? She just looked away not willing to confront that. I get it. I wouldn't push you to. It's pretty messed up. Uh, it's kind of weird how this one part of the wall sticks out, so I thought I would kind of poke around there a little bit. Doesn't seem to be anything. Someone in the comments pointed out that Alula is actually named after, maybe not like literally letter for letter, but it's named after a part of a bird's wing, and her brother is Calamus, which I should have recognized, because that my brother did like an entire research project on bird feathers, which is kind of cool. It might be part of a feather, not a wing. Uh, but yeah, it's like bird related stuff. And you can see she, she looks kind of bird like her brother does too. Uh, I th think there's nothing left for me to look at up here. But yeah, I should have recognized that right away on my own, but it's a cool little thing. I like it. Just the computer up top here. And yeah, thank you for bringing my attention to the names there because it was like vaguely in my mind somewhere, but I probably wasn't gonna remember it on my own. It wasn't doing enough to jog it, apparently. I just figured I might as well look at every inch of this place, even though I think there's uh, there's nothing left to be looked at. I've kind of kind of seen it all. Yeah, I think I think I must have wrapped everything up there. Now I can head back and probably track down Calamus because I think I met him somewhere out in the open area here but he might be waiting up in the no he's right here <laughs> not in the village at all Calamus Alula you guys were like literally across the pond from each other and somehow never found each other I'm glad I could be the the detective and, and solve it all for you I could be the bridge across those troubled waters you're okay thank goodness that's weird. I, that might be the first time it's ever teleported me for the sake of a little a little cutscene like this or whatever, so that was kind of... Threw me off for a second there. I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary. But then the Messiah saved me. Excuse me, I would like you to capitalize Messiah. It's uh, I'm very important and it's a very important term. I, I don't want to be disregarded. <laughs> trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There was that weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes? Ooh, you guys are aware of the squares, hey? We need to make more people square aware. <laughs> it's important for our future. The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Bad. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. I'm glad I didn't do it because I, I, I couldn't. I definitely would have if the opportunity presented itself. But they were always floating out in areas I couldn't get to. Is this 
world tearing apart like some you know there, there's things that directly interact with my world and stuff so is the, are the squares like tearing through the literal pixels of this game in this world to spill over in, into the real world I don't know how deep to read into the meta stuff whenever you hear people say the world is decaying that's what they meant obviously you should avoid them too I will anyway Ah, uh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. <laughs> then, would you like to visit our house, Nico? Uh, it's strange that I can say no and I feel like I would be a real big jerk if I did that. But yeah, I want to see it for sure. You guys are cool. Like... <laughs> I'm super, I'm, I'm a cat person. Really, I probably shouldn't be making too good of uh, chum pals with, with birds, you know? Kind of dangerous. Cats kind of eat birds sometimes, but I, I don't see that happening. I would just sleep with all four eyes open, I think, just in case, you know? Uh, maybe my baser instincts take over. Yay! Let's go! Okay, take good. Take me with you. <laughs> I don't have to find my way on my own. Did you guys just take me immediately down into that dungeon? Probably a different one, but it looks an awful lot like the first. Oh shoot! Looks like we can't get past that block. <laughs> Terrible, heavy, impenetrable, impenetrable, impassable block. Seriously? <laughs> Come on, Nico. That's that's my feelings on it too. I'll be up ahead. I've literally never thought of that. You kind of get used to all the debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house isn't far from here. Nico, I think I can no longer trust you to make any decisions. I know you already kind of rely on me for quite a bit, but I'd like you to rely on me even further. So, uh, welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Ah, there it is. Here, we want you to have this. Mm, it's not a giant light bulb. Oh, close to it at least. It's like the next best thing, another thing that grows big and bright. Oh, a feather, which Calamus and Alula, that's, that's funny. I mean, they're already bird people, so like their names being bird related was already a thing, but then there's even more directly than before. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the great prophet. Yeah, I don't know. I think Messiah outranks prophet. <laughs> oh? Yeah. She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. What? Or something like that. She gave one of her feathers to father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom. Although, feels more fitting for you to have it. Are, are you sure? Totally sure. I think that's what father would have wanted. Thank you. Ba ding! That's how I let you guys know that I, I'm appreciative of it, is by ominous otherworldly chimes playing omnisciently. <laughs> Jars full of dried moss. Where do you guys keep the wet moss? I could go for a nice handful of wet moss right now. Coals. They're cold now. Cold coals. Looks like spoiled food. Hmm. Maybe you guys should uh, clean up a little bit around here. Oh no. I guess that's what happens if you leave your house for three days. That's fair. You had things to attend to. There's a clover symbol on the cover of this book. Ooh, not the first time we've seen clover things. Hey, just like... Oh, my book! Gosh, I still need to finish studying it. Oh? My friend gave it to me for Solstice Day. He's the one who wrote it, actually. He's also the one who taught me how to read. Man, I should start giving people books I write as gifts. They would be magnificent, full of splendor and romance and action and, and, and chaos and, and probably a few spelling errors. Seems a lot better than spending money, doesn't it? Oh, I have a few more of his books somewhere. I would like one, please. Fireflies. Good, good to see jars full of fireflies rather than like the other weird glowing things I was finding in other parts of this world. 
It's good to be home again. I don't think I talked directly to Callus. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? You know, the sun you were walking around with? You didn't happen to misplace the sun, did you? Because it's kind of important to us. I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she said she wanted to feel the sun again. She said she wanted to shell see sell she shells by the sun. Sure. <laughs> Before she Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the Glen, but once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might be already too late to save her. Yeah, but maybe you were in time to give her peace. Maybe that's more important in this at, at this point, you know? But I'm glad she got to see the sun again. Ooh, you guys have an upstairs. But it's not really an upstairs. It's just kind of like a weird half level up. <laughs> just loving those fireflies today. Jars full of dried fish. It's a bed. Well... More like a mattress. Ooh, can I sleep here at all? It's a plush toy. That's mine. Our friend gave it to me last year. Oh? Yeah, he has a fox too. And she can even talk. What? I know, I thought she was the coolest thing ever. So he got me a fox plush for solstice this day. That's nice of him. Ah, oh, he's the best. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for another fox plush and see if that comes up again at any at any point. I just wanted to see if it would provide the opportunity or option for me to nap in any of those. I didn't want to, but I wanted to check. Jars full of beans. Are they dry or wet? Jar full of worms. I'm going to assume those ones are wet. Fireflies light up this room. I don't think I really realized that they were taking the place of, uh, of actual light. Oh, fishing rod. Is this something I can just have? Do you like fish, Nico? Yeah, so do we. They're good in stews. Or soups. But I know some people back home who like to eat them raw. Oh, because you're cat people. I was about to be real disgusted. Still a little bit am, but not fully. Ew. <laughs> yup. I guess it's not for the taking. The back room is full of dust and cobwebs. Can I... Oh, my journal. My journal has the clover on it. That's where I found that before. Hmm. But is that the other one that uh, Calamus has? Is his also written in a different language? I thought for sure they were going to give me that fishing rod. I really need to finish this. Or hand it over to me for late solstice day. Or for helping you find your sister day because she was lost and I'm a hero. That reminds me, I need to go fishing later. Well, not without me, right? I hope the squares don't spread too fast. It's good to be home again still. All right, well, thanks for having me, guys. I'm bailing. <laughs> it was nice to see what you guys got going on in there, but I probably have places to be, worlds to save and such. Hey, listen. I saw you going to the courtyard, so I thought I'd tag along. Same. You kind of, you guys kind of look like you have duck faces when you're just... In your, in your lesser pixeled forms there, just the less detailed versions, you know? You guys got your outfits so you can wear the same thing every day, it looks like? That's good. Good for you. Oh, they took me to the village. Where I was planning to head anyways. Alright, that makes it easy. Hmm. Do you think there's any way to get that green ball? Probably with a fishing rod. Or by ringing the bell? Hmm, no luck. It's a ball. That's mine. It doesn't bound around, bounce around as much as it used to, though. Is everything yours? Are you going to let me touch anything here? Fish. Fish. Well, at least she didn't claim it was hers, although she did interrupt. All right, I, I, I'll, just, I'll just go hang out with someone else for a minute. Unless all of this is technically your guys' home or house or something. Ooh. That was kind of neat. Looks like it used to lead somewhere. Yeah, the sacred grounds. It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way getting there now. Remember? There isn't a boat and none of us can swim. And What's the sacred grounds? It's where our people are buried. Sometimes we go there to visit mom. Well, her grave anyway. Oh. Wait, 
how did you get there? Well, without a boat, they've just started pushing people into the water <laughs> and then just kind of like float on them, I guess. Thought you said there isn't a boat. Oh, we just take our friendship. Our friend helps us. <laughs> I gotta start, I gotta start reading these li like making it more than two lines without trying to give some commentary. I know it's, it's fun to do sometimes, but I, I should stop trying to break up. I, I should stop breaking up the story so heavily here. I am taking it seriously. I promise you guys. I am taking the story in here. It's just my way, I guess. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. Sometimes he takes us along. But like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. I'm sorry that immediately I just realized that they have a friend with a machine that can fly, but they're bird people. Now am I supposed to not comment on the fact that it's birds taking a flying machine? You guys are being lazy. Just use your wings. I wonder when he'll come back. I wish we could go see Mom again. Come on, Alula. Let's go back to the courtyard now. Okay. Yeah, guys, I need some space. I want to ponder this dock for a while. Possibly. Now nah, I'm over it. It's a boring dock. It appears to lead nowhere, so I'm giving up immediately. But what about this side? Nothing. <laughs> Are you guys going to tag along everywhere I go? I want to keep looking at those floating orbs up top there to see if they move or change or if anything happens with them the more I, like, interact with things. Here's something interesting. What if I go out the opposite way of their house? Also, you can't interact with the sparkles on the wall. I thought maybe that would be worth checking. I just want to see if they tag along on this side. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Okay, we have totally... We're, we are just back in the same exact thing again. Down this way is where... Maze... was. Quite certain that's where it was, at least. I don't know if I tried going here at all. I did. And there was a block in the way. I'm fairly, fairly certain I tried to do this on my own before I'd uh, actually, you know, gotten to know these two, got them to show me around, give me the, the proper tour of this world. Oh, dang. I thought that was a bridge down here. I guess there's nowhere to go. Hmm. What do you guys have in mind for us next, then? Oh, are you leaving now? Good luck, Nico. We believe in you. I thought you guys might stick around a little longer. You're leaving now? It was nice to meet you. Really, thanks for everything. Yeah, it was nice to meet you guys, too. I joke and I kid around and everything, but y'all are... Y'all are great. Oh wait, for real though, I'm taking this fishing rod if no one's gonna stop me. Hmm, it appears to not be a, a real option. But what if I tickle my way through? Dang. Long and slender feather with glowing edges. Hmm, I don't want to be a jerk, but I just want to see if there's anything I can take. It doesn't seem like it, so I better move on. I, I don't think they would have minded. I am the Messiah after all. <laughs> they would understand. I did a lot to help. The least they can do is let me do a little fishing. I'd give them some fish. I wouldn't keep all the fish for myself. I would mostly just use it to try and retrieve those fun looking green beach balls that hang out out there. Is it time to take this back? I guess I guess it stays for now. But I guess that also means I have not been to the village. Their little hangout is not technically in the village. And so I, I still have a, a new destination then. Uh, there's, there's floating orbs all over the place. They seem relatively unimportant then. I am intrigued by this one kind of gray island when everything else is green. Is it submerged? I'm trying to see if those wave patterns... It doesn't look like the wave patterns are on top of it at all. But maybe it's just more shallow? Like, you can see the green patterned one there. Uh, and the where you can see kind of the third dimension of it between the top of it and the water, you can see the similar color to what that is down there. Maybe it's a graphical glitch. Maybe it, it, it is just a shallow thing. Maybe it's of some importance. I don't know how much like hidden stuff there is in this game. What the heck is going on up here? 
I'll ring another bell. Why not? Oh, I should have investigated him before I rang the bell. I feel like I just, uh... I, there could have been, like, a separate piece of dialogue for not ringing the bell first. Am I... I'm not in the village, am I? Where the hell did I end up? The flood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. It probably brings more fish. These look like herrings. Or anchovies? Maybe sardines? I honestly have no clue. I think I have talked to that fisherman before. There's a good chance I had done that, but this is all new. This, like, caravan carriage wasn't here before. Hey, yeah. Wait, see how there's like a portrait around this character? Does every character have that? Why does it stand out so much with this one? Maybe I'm just suspicious of them because of their suspicious eye. I'll try not to judge a book by its covers or a bird person by their faces. You here to trade? See, yeah, Nico doesn't have a full... I, I'm not crazy. Nico doesn't have like a full frame either. It, you know, it's boxed in by the confines of our, our dialogue box here. But it, there's no, like, background presence that is weirdly particular to this character. Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Hmm, do we have something like that, Graham? I feel like I did... Maybe I did give this guy something before. It was something... Ah, uh, maybe... It wasn't here. It wasn't exactly here, but I did give you some sort of junk before, I think. I don't think it's right to trade this away, Graham. Oh, hey, you have one of those coin things? I've dug up a couple of these before. Oh? Yeah, there's this guy who uh, who would trade me the best things for them. Oh? Like one time, he brought me this machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. A music box. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Sounds like the name you would make up if you were like, I don't know, it's a square thing that produces sounds that are very melodic and enjoyable to the ear. I don't know what you would call it, though. Maybe a sound cube? I think if you tried to make up a name on the spot, music box is probably what you would come up with. I wish that guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. Well, I'm sorry I can't offer as great of things as random music box guy. Wait, trade this? Don't you want, want to find out what it says first? What's that? A book? Uh, uh, not sure I want to take books. I can't read. Well, you still have one eye. I'm sure you could learn. I'm not trading that, Graham. You're not trading what? What's that? A feather? Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh, my stars. <laughs> I'm a bird. I'm made of feathers. That is not a feather. That is a feather from the Light Prophet. Probably one of the most sacred items there is. How in the world did you get a hold of that? Wait, I guess it makes more sense for you to have one. You know, with you being the savior and all. Okay. I'm glad he didn't try to swindle me out of it. This guy understands. He understands that I'm the savior. He's, he's not going to try and pull one over on me. Do you think it would give me really good deals on things, hey? It's a wagon stuffed with stuff. It sure is. I just like making this guy alert. Make sure he's paying attention, you know? What if I ring a ling him over here? Yeah, he didn't even he didn't actually even look. I don't know if there's any particular pattern to these bells or at what order they'd be rung in or anything. I just want to ring all of them. Some kind of cloak or shawl? Folded neatly. A pair of shoes and some jewelry. Mm, interesting stuff. It's an orb. The material looks like amber. Oh, I want that then. Make sure you take that. It's a staff. Reminds me of the one that robot from the Barons was holding. Hmm, how about we take all of this? Seems very savior worthy, right? I think it's probably destined for us. Looks like an altar. Maybe I'll stop trying to rob everyone and stop swinging around, like, throwing savior in their face. That's a title they've kind of put on me. I haven't done a whole lot of saving yet, you know? Oh my goodness. There's something broken with this goat. Oh, this... Oh, damn, I wish I hadn't interrupted that. But, uh, the, the ground here, maybe that always happens. Maybe it's not broken then. That might just be part of it. But I just noticed this color of ground that I was seeing out in the island is, like... You know, it's the same here as it was on that island. What in the hell? 
Yeah, okay. No, not okay. Mm-hmm, normal. Horrifying. Regular old goat? Literally Satan. <laughs> I'm, I'm moving on from that. That's enough of that, I think. What the hell is going on here, you guys? Can I shepherd them around to, like, move them to access that in some way? Like, it's a puzzle? All right, I need to get myself a, a shepherd's stick, probably. Maybe? Firefly jar, you. You willing to hook me up? Because I think I, I need that staff. Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Is it a, a sense of fulfillment for a hard day's work? Because I got two of those already. Yes, I would like to. It sounds kind of fun, actually. Relaxing in a game that's already quite chill. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They are all standing in unfortunate spots and need to make. Uh, you need to move them onto the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and they'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. Some of these um, bells are in the middle of this. I wonder if you have to reset it sometimes intentionally, you know? Or how many times you can actually move these guys to make this work. Uh-huh. So here's, here's one way to get stuck. See now what happens? Okay, it kicks you off. I was wondering if you would stay where you were and then they would all reset. I wasn't entirely sure. Alright, well, you moving there is most obvious. You going all the way across is easy. I don't know if it's exactly what needs to happen, you know, but it gets us part of where we're going. Hmm. I'm going to set you up here. And... You're going down. I feel like I... Oh, I felt like things were going well, and then I just realized that you have trapped me. Because I was going to move you, and then I was so damn close, wasn't I? Nuts! I'm going to take a few attempts at this, and whatever way I get it, I'll, I'll speed that up for you guys or something to, to see everything that I did to make it happen. Hey, you get out of here, man. You're just going to make it harder up there. Crap. Thought I was so close again. There is a chance that I was making this harder than it needed to be. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that crazy, actually. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for the little celebratory, whatever you just did. I was making that way harder than it needed to be. That that took maybe, what, like five, six tries, something like that? But when I finally, I was doing most of the right moves, but then, like, overcomplicating, overthinking. But yeah, there we have it. You provided a great service for all of ram- ram kind, Jesus. In return, take this fine ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks. Now, is this something I can trade away, or is this something I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need? It's kind of useless. Makes me think it'll be trade-worthy, because it made the puzzle out to be very optional, so I have to think that it's going to lead me into a series of very optional options, <laughs> you know? I'm curious if there's any other, like, peculiar peculiar rams, like our, our good friend... Belzebub over there. Belzebul? Doesn't quite work. Somewhere, something like that. There's a pun in there somewhere. The crops have been growing poorly without the sun. There's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Please, Savior, you have to hurry. I would love to, but I had to save Ramkind first. Now I can work my way up to cat kind, maybe bird kind if there's time. Robots fall in there somewhere too, and Robots are somewhere at the top. I'll do my best. <laughs> Get off my back. I'll do my best. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of pressure. Everyone needs to give me some space to breathe, okay? It's too much. It's, I'm gonna lose it. I can't actually can't actually visit them in their little hut here. Peas. Yes, we all want peace, don't we? Some jars filled with grains. Water. I can go in some of these. It's, it throws you off when you 
see the door in the front here? Then it makes it look like you came in through the back. Just a jar. Hmm. You're the first person I've ever seen who didn't stick things in their jar, as far as I can remember. Daddy says the world is very is is very sick, but Graham can make it better again. You're aware of Graham? Are you Graham? Uh, not really. I'm just the Messiah they sent. Hey, hey I just realized they use gender-neutral pronouns there. I, I didn't think about the fact that at no point in the game was that ever specified. I can talk with Graham, though. Wow. What's that like? Really cool. He only insults me sometimes. <laughs> the times when he doesn't are my favorite. Coals, not cold ones, and fish head and tails. I wish I could fish. It's a bed. It always says that, hey? <laughs> I don't know what's in this jar, but it smells kind of like pickles. I would be down for some pickles myself. I wish it was. Last week, I saw more of those squares while out fishing. Ooh, everyone's kind of aware of this, hey? It's like a growing problem amongst everyone. It's not like a, a well-kept secret. I knew better than to get too close, though. Squares? Squares, man. They're bad news. Hmm. Makes me think I could have come here before talking to Alula and Calamus because, you know, it's it's setting it up, but, like, you, you don't know what the squares are yet. So that's interesting. One of these days, you're going to take one of those coals. You're not just going to stare them down, but you're going to take some for yourself because they seem like they would be useful. Hmm. A village of just regular old jars, hey? Wow. Your eyes glow in the dark. Yeah. Just like the sun. Well, yes, true, but the sun does go away at night still. It's slowly being chipped away already. But it's still trying to stay alive, I think. Doesn't matter. One day the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. Oof, depressing. I'm bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix the root of the problem. Just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. I'm, I certainly have. I'm going to be as, as downtrodden about it as birdily possible. But you, you try and look on the bright side. Bright, because it's the sun. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. It would be nice. I think you'd all appreciate it. Maybe it would help with all this uh, pessimism. I guess people eat moss. Seems like the thing to do in this dank world. This land is fragment fragmenting at an alarming rate. I don't like to think about the day when this town finally loses to the intruding sea. We'll have to find another place to settle. That is depressing. Hello, jar boy. Oats. A jar of some grain. More oats. Heads of wheat. Is there is there anything in here? Ooh, flour. You you put a little bit of effort into that one. Is there anything in here that is not grain? I just want to make sure you don't have like a head in a jar or something really crazy. If you if you did, you probably wouldn't put those ones on the perimeter. They'd be somewhere deep buried back there. But I don't trust someone with this many jars. This is it. The last of our grain surpluses. And I'm going to hoard them all for myself. <laughs> now we're dealing with a vermin problem. Maybe you can get cats? Not that I'm a cat. I mean, uh, I'm going to leave. A cat does sound nice. Maybe I'll ask my cousin to find one in the city for me. He just moved there. So you guys are aware of cats. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm, that's not what I'm about. I'm not volunteering for that job. Not at all. I'm, I'm sorry, but, uh, I could probably only eat a couple. Ooh, we had a demon girl to match the, the demon goat. Maybe we need an exorcist in here. You're gonna get dizzy if you keep spinning around like that. I'm the tower. Huh? Krampus is the tower used to spin all the time, bringing sunlight to the world. I want to see it, too. Well, I'm here now. I guess it'll only be a matter of time again. In the meantime, yeah, you, you keep that dream alive, little girl. You spin like any old goat would. Make your goat ram, fellow ram kind proud, as well as tower kind. Make them all proud. This jar is full of milk. Milk makes you grow taller. That's what Mama always says. 
because you're a cat. Although, I don't think you're supposed to feed cats milk. It's kind of like a misconception. I mean, cats can drink cat milk, but I don't think they're supposed to drink, like, cow's milk or anything. It's not ready yet, but would you like some stew? Mm, I'm gonna say yes. Half-cooked stew seems like better than no stew. I'm not hungry, but free things are always good. It's the least I can offer the savior. I didn't get any. Don't be afraid to ask if you want some stew. Sweet. Maybe maybe I can find something to add to this guy's stew. Maybe I can round out his stew for him so he'll be more eager to share. He'll be happy with it. He won't feel embarrassed like, oh, it's not that great, but I guess you can have some. Most of the green moss covering our village has already lost its glow. I would say most moss in my world has as well. Haven't seen many glowing mosses. If it wasn't for the thin strip left on the barriers of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water becomes indistinguishable here. That's a weird problem to have, dude. Is that honestly what's going on? So, like, are we saying that all of the dark colored stuff is extinguished moss and anything that's green at all is still lit? Or are we saying that, like, this stuff on the edge of the land is unlit, this, like, dark foresty green, and then the green, the, the green floating bobs in the water are lit because they have a little bit more color to them? I think he means that most of this normally would be bright and green, but most of it is gray and died out. It's crazy, actually. Very interesting that your land and water look that much alike. Most, uh, yep, yeah, he, he just has more of the same. It was just as interesting the second time. <laughs> Want to sneak out to that island. Ooh, here's an island worth sneaking out to. This ram is chewing on a ball of moss. You maniac! Then people aren't going to be able to see the water! Now I'm curious. What do you think they taste like, Graham? The rams? Yeah, you should definitely take a bite out of this ram. The moss, not the ram. I say... Forget the moss? I don't think you're going to get a lot out of it. Just start chewing on this guy's hide a little bit. I suppose I could eat just one. <laughs> just one entire ram. But... You know what they say about curiosity in the cat? Yeah, it's that he got a nice, delicious mouthful of moss and ram. It's like having a, a steak with a side of salad. Not that I'm a cat. He does keep reinforcing that. I really want to treat these people like bird people and cat people, but they're not really fully either of those, I suppose. Nice to have it uh, cleared up. The light from these lanterns will have to do for now. I'm starting to see some very small sprouts. It'll probably take some time for these to bear fruit. Should I just stomp all over your garden? Do you think that would help? Small sprouts. I gotta be careful I don't step on the, those. It literally won't let you. Because I was tempted to try just to push what was going on in this game. Not because I dislike these people or, or want to like harm their farming in any way. I guess curiosity. Curiosity ruined the garden. Also, the cat was there. Pretty sure that's how that phrase goes. Interesting how these people have adapted. I very much like seeing, seeing the different sides of that. I figure I would just spam interacting with that until maybe something, anything happened. There was a strong possibility. Anyways, wool? I think I have something I'd like to trade. You'll take wool, right? What can wool get me? It's really nice wool, I promise. I shaved it from the the cleanest, furthest away from the butt part of the ram that I could. Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial of... Uh, I'm not sure what this is, actually. Some sort of fabric dye? Hmm. How about it, Graham? Ah... <sighs> Wait, Graham, you want to haggle? Yes. Yes, I do. Fishing rod. Fishing rod or bust. Really? All right, then. Graham said they wanted a better offer. Does this... Ooh. ooh. <laughs> now we really are pulling the Messiah card. Before, I was like, coming through, give me free things. Now I'm being like, 
God told me that you need to give me a better deal. I don't really like that. I don't like abusing that. But it might get us something good. Holy smokes. Forgot I was doing a trade with God for a second there. Okay, okay. In that case, I'll also throw in this commemorative t-shirt. Ah, that sounds funny. Yes. Pleasure doing business. What did I get? Novelty t-shirt? I heard it rams and all I got this was this lousy t-shirt. Can you put it on? Ah, oh, I thought you could just wear it and walk around with it. That's disappointing. The small vial filled with the dark blue liquid used for dyeing wool. I can't combine those. That is surprising, but I'm curious what the dye is going to be for. Pleasure doing business. Let's trade them back their own t-shirt. I ain't taking that back. The shepherd was handing those out a while ago. But does it look like it'll fit me? Huh? T-shirts aren't exactly made for people with wings. I guess that's fair. Hey, I just gave that to you. Right, you want to trade it back? Not really. Good, because I wasn't gonna. I just wanted to play around with my options. I wanted to see the fun dialogue trees of like what you will and were, were and were not willing to depart with and all that. Hmm, I feel like I didn't accomplish a ton in this little area. And I'm not 100% certain if this is actually the village. I think this might be a village. It's kind of like a farming community. But I think there might be the larger village that I can head towards. The one that was uh, completely, totally north of the ruins and everything. I think I might have managed to dodge that so far. So that's probably where I'm going to be heading next. But I will be doing that next time. So uh, I'll close down and save once again, not in a bed or whatever, but I don't know where to find these beds. They're less frequent than I would have guessed, so what you gonna do, hey? I'm, I'm saving wherever the wind blows me, and also wherever I get tired and feel like taking, it, taking a little nap. <laughs> and I'll just go wherever I please when it's nap time, like any cat or half-cat person would. Crap. This is not a big place. How am I getting so lost? Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again soon.